What up everybody? This your boy Billy Clint and I'm finally back. Now let me tell y'all. Now see. First off, if you're new to this, I'm telling you, like, subscribe, share to your friends, comment, do all that. I will get back to you because I don't have a lot of y'all. Oh, and uh to my homeboy that said that uh I look rough. That CLK can't be mine, you know, I might look a little rough now, but please and believe me, I will get fresher in the produce aisle. I just been having a little back page because I've been having a little backstory because I've been having a little back up because this darn car was getting on my nerves, y'all. So I've been working on it. I tried to make a couple videos and then at the end of them, I didn't fix the freaking problem. So I got mad and I never put them out and then I make another video because I thought I made the darn fixed problem. And then I didn't. So then I ain't put that video out. Then I make another video of something else I thought I did to fix the problem. And it didn't. So I ain't put that out. I mean, I sat here, all jokes are sad, man. I ain't slept, I, I've been in the same clothes about three days. Cause my brain, I go to bed and I was thinking about this shit. And then I wake up and I was still thinking about it. I've literally been up since 4.30 this morning looking on YouTube trying to find anybody that got an idea on what's wrong with this car. I ain't shaved. I ain't did none of that. It's about an hour ago. It's about an hour ago. It been about two and a half, three weeks, maybe even longer. I've been trying to figure this out. I told everybody I was not getting. I didn't figure it out by Wednesday. I was just gonna put a whole new motor in it. It ain't even the motor prop. And I wasn't freaking lying. If I didn't figure out what it was, I was pulling this motor out, putting a carburetor on it, and I was gonna call it a day. I figured it out. And you know the crazy thing about it? I had to parse it. I had to parse the whole freaking time. y'all up no more. Hey, Fofo. They getting a little warm in the sunlight. Raw bud. I don't drink beer. But, uh, so, let me, uh, let y'all in on, on a little backstory. story, alright? Check out. So, uh, I was driving up the road and it just started going blah, 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 blah. hit the gas pedal and it got even worse, right? So I put it and scut it. I was even crazy enough to back it in the driveway, I guess. And uh I made it home, jumped in the uh where my man said it wasn't mine. I'ma put the badging on it today. You know, it was the only thing I got to drive because the plates was, uh, oh, folk, yeah, if you want to watch too, 1120. Oh, it's my Esco, but the plates expired on my daddy's birthday. And if you look over the horizon over there, you see my Cadillac STS. So, uh, I tell you, man, I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, so, well, first off, I made a video. Um, replacing the fuel pump. What? What? You on here? She's on here, ain't she? America, see you. Say hi. She wanna say hi. That's alright. But uh, so I put the fuel pump on here. That didn't fix it. Made another video putting the fuel filter on here. That didn't fix it. So then I'm sitting here, and I always knew the alternator that was on here wasn't the right one. For one, it had a voltage regulator screw right there, and these cars don't have no voltage regulator. And it was huge, right? And it had this weird bracket. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking, 
Eh. I don't know what I did with them cables, of course. Okay. Here go the wires that went to the alternator. These was the place of the plug. So I knew right there something was up, right? So, uh... So I pulled one off. Swack him. Car started running good. That's weird. I mean, the idle picked up and everything, right? Put it back on. Car died. Start the car up. It's running crappy. Pulled it off. Car started running good. Put it on. It ran crappy. Good. Crappy. It's so like, all right, we're bad alternator. So I go buy a new alternator, and with that bracket, it stopped up here, so it was bigger. So it didn't, it need to go down. So I went on eBay, I found a bracket, at least I thought I did. As you see, the bracket is too big, but I made it work. So I made it work, got a new plug, had it all nice and neat. I didn't tore it all up because I've been flabbergasted, right? put it on here did the same thing so you know what I didn't even show y'all what to do I got a lot of taping I see I got to do and some zip cord so let's see so that's what I've been doing for about three weeks right so, uh, I was stealing parts off of this one. I ain't gonna cap. Stealing parts off this one, which run totally fine. Trying them on here. But, hey, I even took the computers out. Computers on the ground. Yeah, I gotta put two computers back. Darn it. All that, right? So, uh, dude, I've been fiddle fatted. Like, I done tore all into the wiring harness. Like, I mean, I was getting all up in it. Like, I was knee deep. I was pulling off freaking, uh, uh, fang fangs, uh, relays. Look at this, dude. I'm trying. I got all these relays pulled off. Man, that's going to be rough with this sunlight. I ain't going to think about that. And I was knee deep all up in this one, all in the booger guts. I don't know if you can see in there. I can block some sun. There we go. But that's the main block. Right? So then I'm like, alright. It's dying. What is doing it? Like, I know I'm getting spark. Darn show now I'm getting air. But what is it doing? Even when I got it to run, when I hit the throttle, it'll just bog out. So I got to looking, and uh, after about two weeks or whatnot, three weeks, I don't know, dude. I've been lost for days. All jokes aside, I've really been lost for days from this. So then I come out with the great idea to go. Now here's the thing. I go like that. And then I go. Now. Here's the thing. I did yesterday run the ohm test on it. And I knew that one was really bad. But I never know that a darn injector was shorting out your whole freaking car. I figured it might run crappy. You know, it wouldn't run on that one cylinder. So y'all can see this. That's the injector. Injector wire. Upon further review, 
if you can see good what well, it's gonna be so hard I don't think you can but if you can see in there that one's blue with a metal bottom and that one even if you can't see the color you can see that that part right there ain't metal like that part and if you can see any of them in there you can see that it's the only one with the metal bottom so somebody definitely put the wrong injector or something I don't know but I never thought an injector would shut one injector would make the car not run at all like that so it was sending a bad signal to the ECU or the ECM all that one injector so shout out to everybody that subscribed to me and everybody that ain't hey look how let your boy Billy Clint if you don't know now you about to know not only do I got one C4 I call that's bad credit it was aka Drew Brees but that's for a whole nother story and then I got uh uh, the gray area right here because this one is kind of in the gray area you know what I'm saying it's the project all that good stuff but uh I don't know I ain't figured out if I'm gonna end this video or not right here if I do hey look holla at your boy like share subscribe though mainly at least give a brother a subscription you know what I'm saying it's free and it helped me out y'all and I'm gonna try to bring y'all some good content because now I ain't gonna lie I've been bummed because this car I've been bummed listen I've been bummed I ain't, I ain't even I did pull her out the other day and wash her I think I got a leak inside on that but yeah but you know what I'm saying I ain't even really messed with the bully but she started up and all that I pulled her out the other day and took her for a ride Cause she was dirty the other day, so I pulled her out. I don't even know if I made a video of me giving her a wash and all that stuff. I might pull her out, but I ain't even wrapped it yet. That's the whole thing. I'm rich. Look. Hey, now we about to get it. I got this car. Please, just... This car, though, I'm so tired of it breaking. I ain't gonna cap. It didn't broke. Listen, on top of that... Oh, I forgot to show this shit with y'all. Now, see, the thing about it was... I thought that might have been a problem with this one. So... Not even upon further review, upon any view. Let's move this over so we can get some better. Now I got too much light and I gotta get out the light. Look at that folk. Look at that folk. If you didn't know, like I said, I found this out about an hour ago. I done probably had these for five months. And as you see, it's a whole nother row, so not only do I got one to replace? I got one for every place. So right now they calling me handsome. So. You know what? I'm just going to make this as it is. So. If you got a problem with your car starting. And then it's immediately shutting off. Check your uh check your injectors. And if it's bad, unplug it and see what it do. Now some cars do run bad off injectors. Man wouldn't run at all. So I hope this helped y'all out and I'ma holler at y'all in a bit.